to my channel and welcome back to today's brand new vlog. Hope that you all are happy and healthy wherever you are. Before we start today's vlog, please my request to all you guys out there that please subscribe to my channel and if you like my vlogs then please give me a thumbs up. In today's vlog, I'm going to share with you a recipe that has actually been requested to me by one of my viewers. I have been requested to make chicken chow mein. So today's recipe is going to be dedicated to my viewer who actually requested for this recipe. I hope that you guys enjoy today's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoy today's recipe. And without wasting a single moment, let's go and make it. So the ingredients that we need to make our chicken chow mein. First of all, spaghetti. You can use any spaghetti you want to. I'm going to start off with the sauces and spices. So I have hoisin sauce black pepper powder, red chilli powder, chilli garlic sauce, sweet chilli sauce, tomato ketchup, sriracha sauce, soya sauce, salt, lemon, corn flour, green chillies cut in julienne slices. So basically julienne slices are just thin slices. Oil, one egg. And down here, I have one kilogram of boneless chicken cut in julienne strips. So then again, in long, thin strips. And down here, I'm using red bell pepper, cut in julienne strips, green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, cabbage, and spring onion. Now, you can also add in red onion, but my children don't like onions, so the only onions I can get away with is spring onions but you guys can also add in red onions so down here in this big pot as you can see I'm having my spaghetti cooked so my spaghetti is being cooked in this big pot and down here in this pan as you can see in this pan I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of olive oil now first of all let's saute our vegetables and then we can use the same oil in the same pan without cleaning to actually fry our chicken but if we do the reverse technique if we fry our chicken first um, then we won't be able to use the same oil and we have to use a new pan so that's a tip to actually save time to washing or reusing a pan so first of all i'm going to add in cabbage There is one sauce that I'm actually not using in chow mein, uh, which normally people do use, is oyster sauce. But the smell of oyster sauce um, is very unpleasant smell for me. Um, so that's why I'm actually avoiding it. But if you guys want to go ahead and use oyster sauce, then go ahead and use one tablespoon of oyster sauce along with the rest of the ingredients. My spaghetti is done, so I've actually drained the water out of my spaghetti. And now I'm going to add in the spring onions. And along with that, I'm going to add in the peppers. All three of them. We need to cook this on high heat. The vegetables do not need to be fully cooked, just saute them, but they need to have some crunch left inside. I'm also now going to add the green chilli. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of lemon juice. I am so, so sorry. There was two ingredients which I forgot to mention. One is white vinegar and the other is crushed red chilies. So crushed red chilies are totally optional but fine white vinegar is not optional you need to use that but i'm so sorry i totally forgot to mention them 
Now my vegetables are sauteed. Now I'm gonna take them out in a plate and now I'm gonna show you the next step which is frying the chicken. So my vegetables are done as you can see. Now down here in the chicken, I'm gonna actually add in one egg because we need to coat our chicken with corn flour and a little bit of spices before we can go ahead and fry it. So the spices that we need is one teaspoon of red chili flake and one teaspoon of black pepper powder and half a teaspoon of salt again because we're using poison sauce and soya sauce we have to add very 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 minimum salt so again according to your taste and your requirement please check the salt before you actually go ahead and make this dish so now that this is done it's actually mixed up. I'm going to add in some corn flour. So, so far, I've added three tablespoons of corn flour. We need to coat our chicken with corn flour. And now we're going to add three more tablespoons of corn flour. Now let's fry the chicken. So in the same pan, we're gonna add five tablespoons of olive oil. And one by one, just put the chicken slices in. Don't worry because the pan is still warm and it's a non-stick non pan. It won't get stuck. This is enough. I'm going to wash my hands now. Sorry, in the spaghetti, then it won't cook. So when the chicken is this colour, but it's fully cooked, check it if it's fully cooked, then take it out and the chicken is ready. So now my chicken is ready and I'm going to now cook the noodles and the chicken and vegetables. So basically I'm going to cook my chow mein in a bigger pan. But before I do that, let's make the sauce. Now, to make the sauce for the chow mein, we need one cup of water. Normally, people add water but I don't do that I've actually twisted and changed the recipe to improve it when you boil your spaghetti your noodles for your chow mein the liquid that is left make sure that you don't waste it all make sure that you actually save one cup of that dark water that your spaghetti was actually boiled in And then we're going to use that as our water substitute. And in that, we're going to add one tablespoon of red chili flakes, which is crushed chili. We're going to use two tablespoons of white vinegar, one tablespoon of poison sauce, one tablespoon of sriracha sauce, One 
one tablespoon of tomato ketchup. One tablespoon of sweet chili sauce. Now, normally people add sugar, one tablespoon of sugar, but I've also substituted that and I've actually, I'm actually using sweet chili sauce. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of chili garlic sauce. One tablespoon of red chili powder. Now you can also choose how much chili you want to use. You can actually minus the red chili powder if you guys don't eat that much spicy, but if you do, then go ahead with it. And half a tablespoon of black pepper powder. And one teaspoon of soya sauce. So these are, these are our sauces. And now with a whisk or a fork, just whisk all this together. And once that is done, it's ready. Now at this stage, we need to quickly make everything because everything is ready and it's not gonna take a long, a long time for our chow mein to be ready. So keep this on the side and let's put the pan back on the stove. So now we've got a big pan on the stove. I'm going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. Now this recipe for chow mein should be enough for six people. And in this, I'm going to add in the vegetables that we sauteed. And now comes the best part. Now add in all this yummy, yummy, delicious sauce. And just give it a mix. So guys, this is it. My chicken chow mein is ready and now I'm going to dish it out and I'm going to show you the final look. So guys, this is the final look of my yummy yummy chicken chow mein. And I'm serving it with three dips, tomato ketchup, sweet chili sauce and chili garlic sauce. Just put some of these dips and these sauces on top of your noodles and enjoy a yummy chow mein. Chinese food in the comfort of your own home. So like I said, this recipe I'm dedicating to my beautiful viewer who requested for it. I hope that you guys will try it. I hope that you guys will let me know how it turned out to be. Um, I hope that you guys liked today's vlog. I hope that you liked today's recipe. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. Until my next recipe, take care. Bye.